Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this beach dress. It's a mesh dress. I literally crocheted this while I was on vacation, that like most part of it, I was on vacation. I wanted something quick and I didn't have time to finish while I was before the vacation. So I went on and, you know, finished it at the beach. Uh, I wanted something I can, you know, put over my bikini while I take a walk at the beach. And I thought, you know, why not mesh? Because, um, yeah, it's pretty. So you will need your hips measurements, your bust measurements to make this. You can make it short sleeved if you want. You can make it a long dress if you want. Uh, but I wanted it short and long sleeves because it was so windy and I didn't want, you know. Yeah, anyway, this is what you will need. Uh, so I used scissors. I used a 2.5 millimeter hook and I used cotton yarn, messerized mes yarn because I wanted the silky feel. And it's just neater and feels great on your body. So yeah, this is what I used. You can use any other yarn, but I, uh, I love to use messerized yarn for this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's 50 grams and I used five of these. So you need a tape measure too. This is very important. If you're making it for yourself, I will use this a lot. All right, so to begin with, we are going to make this in two different panels, front panel and back panel, all identical. So we are going to start with any of the panels. You're going to make a slip knot and then make a chain that is equivalent to your bust measurements divided by two. So we are using bust measurements from the start. Take your bust measurements, divide by two. Mine is 16, all right? My best measurement is 16. I mean, it's 32 divided by 2, you get 16. My best measurement is 32 divided by 2, you get 16. So the front panel will be 16 and the back panel will be also 16 inches for me. So use your measurements. All right, so once you're done with your chain, which is equivalent to your bust measurements divided by 2, so you can make it for any size. Just take a tape measure, put it around your bust, see how many measurements it is, inches it is divided by two, okay? So mine is 16. I have 16 inches of chain. This is our foundation chain, all right? So we're going to work from top as we go to the bottom, okay? So to start on row one, I'm going to chain three more chains. That is the third chain. Then I'm going to skip the first three chains. One, two, three. And then into the fourth chain, I will make a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the fourth chain. And now we're going to start our mesh. So I'm going to chain two chains. Skip two chains at the bottom. And into the third chain, make a double crochet. Chain two, skip two. Okay, so skip two chains and into the third one, make a double crochet. Make two chains, skip two chains and into the third chain, make a double crochet. So this is going to be our pattern. So you chain two, you skip two chains, and into the third one, make a double crochet. So you're going to do this until you get to the end. Don't mind if you get to the end and you have one chain remaining, you know, you can just leave that out. It really won't make a big difference, okay? So do that, and I will meet you at the end of this row so that we can start we can end the row and then start on row two. All right. All right, I'm at the end of the row and I have my three chains remaining. 
So I will chain two, skip the two chains, and then make a double crochet in the last chain. If you have one to go or two to go, you can always leave them out, okay? So this is what I have for row one. This is how it looks, right? So for row two, we are going to chain five chains. Five chains for row two. All right, we are not chaining three, but we're chaining five. So you chain five and skip the previous stitches and make a double crochet on top of the second double crochet like this. So our first chain, the first chain three will count as a stitch. So now you'll be just going to chain two, go into the next, on top of the next double crochet and make a double crochet on top of it. So now we are just chaining two and then double crochet, chaining two and making double crochet where we already have a double crochet. Like this, chain two, and then make a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet. Chain two, and then make a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet. All right, so we are beginning the, the row with five chains. All right, so I'll meet you here at the end, okay? So I'm at the end, and uh, this is how it looks like. I'll have one to go. So I'm just going to chain two, and on top of that previous stitch, I will make a double crochet, okay? So next row, we are going to chain five, Turn our work. We're chaining five because three counts as a, a double crochet and then the two that we chain. Then make a double crochet. So this counts as a chain, a stitch, and we are going to be always working on top of the chain three when we get to the end. Then chain two and make a double crochet. Chain two, make a double crochet. So basically, this is going to be your pattern and you are going to do this until the end, okay? Once you get to the end, you'll make a double crochet on top of the chain three, okay? And then you chain five, turn your work, come back. Here is where you make the double crochet on top of the chain three here. And also when you get this side, on top of the chain three, right here is where you make your double crochet, okay? Or is on top of the chain three. And you're going to do this until you get to your lower uh, bust measurements, uh, just below your belly button, okay? So take your measurements from shoulder to your belly button, all right? Okay, so I did 14.5 uh, inches long. That's from my shoulder, top of my shoulder, to my below my belly button okay and then now we're going to make an increase to accommodate your hips all right so take your hips measurements of course divide by two mine is very small which is 33 so i'm just adding a few inches so my hips are 33 inches so take yours so we are going to just do like we did before the first stitch is like before and now chain two and in this next one that's where we'll make an increase okay so i'm going to go in here and make a double crochet then i'll make an increase here so i'll chain two go into the same stitch right and make a double crochet in there you see all right so i have two stitches so now I'm going to chain two, go into the next double crochet and make a normal double crochet. So I made one increase here and then chain two, make a double crochet, chain two, make a double crochet until I've gone, uh, I've made te 10 double crochets, okay? So I'll, I'll make my increase after every 10 double crochets. Is that clear? All right, so. So 
So keep your hips measurements, half of them in mind. I will tell you how we are going to use them, okay? Mine is 33. 33 divided by 2 is 16.5, okay? 16.5 inches, of course, for my front panel. So here I make an increase after my 10th double crochet. I make an increase like that, and then I go ahead and make another 10 double crochets and then make an increase, okay? So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in a tenth, that's why I make an increase. So now I'm going to make 10 double crochets. And in that tenth one, I still make an increase. But always we are making an increase at the begin, second last stitch, and then the second stitch of the row. You see here? Second double crochet of the row, and the second last double crochet of the row we will make an increase no matter what is in the middle. Okay, so I have come to the end. This is where I had made my increase, but then I've come to that second last stitch of the, of the row. So I'll make an increase there, no matter how many double crochets I've just made from the last increase. Second last stitch, I'll make an increase. First, I mean second stitch of the row, I will also make an increase, okay? And then I'll just go ahead and finish my row off like this. So you chain five, turn your work, and the next row is a row of no increase at all. So in this row, we don't make any increase. We're just going to do like before, you know, double crochet like this without making any increase at all. So Go on top of every double crochet, of course, with a chain two in between until you get to the end, like that. Okay, so my hips measurements, like I said, is almost like my bust measurements. My bust is thirty two and my hips is thirty three. So I don't make to I need don't need to make many increase increments, but we have a row of increase and then we have a row of no increase then a row of increase, then a row of no increase. You're going to keep doing that. But as for me, I only did one row of increase because when I did a row of no increase and made my measurements, I see that they add up 33. So it's 16.5 times two is 33, right? So, but if you have hips, I don't know, uh, you have to make like 18 inches, then you will keep increasing, right? like we, would, we did before. So it's in this stitch where you, this is a row of increase, row of no increase, row of increase, row of no increase. So my next, your next row should be a row of increase. All right, this row should be a, a row of increase. And you see you increase here, then you skip nine in the 10th, you increase like that, like that. So you repeat the same pattern, okay? Row of increase, row of no increase until you get your hips Measurements, so honestly, is that right? From there on, I was unable to shoot because I was recording, you know, on traveling in the car, in the airport, and on vacation. So I didn't record, but I'm going to show you. It's quite easy. So I went on, once I was done with my increasing row, which was here, and then a non-decreasing row, you just continue going, going, going down until you get to your desired length. So I did about 25 inches long from top to the bottom. Then, once you're done with that panel, you'll go ahead and do another panel so that there are two panels, all identical. Same thing, your increasing pattern, the stitches, everything, also 25. For me, for me that is. So my whole dress is like 25.5. So once you're done with that, then now you need to join the two panels together. So what I did is first join here the shoulder. You see, it's still dirty. I just came from vacation. So from shoulder to shoulder, right? This is from the top, of course, from the top part, not where you made the increases for the hip side, right? So just align them together on the wrong side, whichever side you want to be the wrong side. And then leave eight inches here the neckline all right leave eight inches 
I left about eight inches there between and then you just join this side together using a uh, single crochets so while joining you'll put of course let's say you start from at the end here right of course when you do the eight inches make sure you put a stitch marker here and here then you join this part and then you join this part leaving in between the stitch markers okay so you just reattach your yarn here and then make a single crochet in the first stitches both at the front and at the back and then in this chain two you'll make two single crochets in the chain two then where there's a double crochet make a single crochet and where there's a chain two make two single crochets like that then you join it together and um, yeah of course in that looks kind you see it's a it's a single crochet joining kind of inside there because now i already turned it at the at the right side part so once you get to here leave that part make this join on this other side from here to here and once you get here just do a row of double crochets around that neckline okay so it will be two double crochets in the chain part and of course one double crochet where you have a double crochet like that so go around with a row of double crochets just around the neckline all right is that clear so we are done with the neckline okay so you've joined here you've joined here you've put the double crochet row and that's it for that so for the sleeves you are going to because we need to join the sides too right we need to join the sides you can see i join the sides also using the single crochet you can see it inside so remember to work with the double crochet on the right side so once you are done joining the wrong side of course turn now to the right side that's where you'll work that double crochet so once you're done with that now we need to join the two sides the two sides we are also joining on the wrong side which will be inside so that when you turn your dress then you don't see that right because you don't really see it it's inside then of course you will need for the sleeves to leave a space for the sleeves right so what i did is take um, my tape measure wrap it around my upper arm my upper arm is uh, 10 inches right all around is 10 inches so what i did is get the 10 inches add one it became 11 inches so 11 inches right divide by two is 5.5 so i said i leave that space 5.5 so i just measured from the top to where there's 5.5 that's why i put my stitch marker here where there's 5.5 i did the same for this side from top to where there's 5.5 i put my stitch marker and then once i had my stitch markers when i know where my sleeve will be i joined the rest of the side using the single crochet method like we used at the neckline okay so i joined the side here i also did the same with a stitch marker and joined the rest of the side and I was joining from, you know, like this to the top, to where the stitch marker is, okay? So once I go to where the stitch marker is, you know what I did? <laughs> so once I got to here where that stitch marker is, I changed two, right? No, I changed three, sorry, not two. I changed three and now started working the same mesh pattern because, you know, it's already like in mesh. So I just changed three and then go to the next stitch, make a double crochet, chain two. Now start chain two. That chain three was for the start of the row, right? Chain two, make double crochet, chain two, make a double crochet. Then I went all around and came back to where I started with the chain three. And on top of that chain three, I made, uh, I closed off the row, okay? 
then I now started again. Sorry, it wasn't a chain three. It was a chain five, not a chain three, a chain five. So you start again with a chain five and then start again and close off on top of the chain three. Like we're doing with the beginning and the ending, but now we are not beginning and ending. We are going around in circles, okay? So chain five, go all around. Once you come back, look where there's the top of the chain, the, the, you count three chains and on top of that, make a slip stitch, right? Then chain five again, and then make a double crochet after the two stitches, the two chains like that, and then come back where there's the, on top of the chain three, make a slip stitch, then chain five again. And you're going to do that, same thing for this side. So you do that until you have where, like below your elbow, yeah, it's the elbow once you get to below your elbow then you start to make a decrease because i wanted like a fitting you know like this is where my upper arm is up to the elbow and then down below the elbow now let me show you how many inches that was before i started to decrease so i started to decrease around here so if it is like from here to here is about where i started it's about 11 inches so i did about 11 inches same going round 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 with no decrease and when i got to about after 11 inches which is like below my elbow then i started to make a decrease because i wanted it to fit my you know this part of the of my arm so for the decrease what i was doing is so here you see here i made a decrease so this is where i'm starting the row and ending the row so when i'm about to end the row to make a decrease i was instead of chaining two i was not making any chain at all you see like this 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 stitch here i just closed it off without making any two chains here so that I make a decrease because then the next row is a row of none of no decrease so when i go back around and come back here you see there's no two chains so i have cut off this one so i just from chain two from here to here you see here there were three stitches one two three before one two three one two three but right now it is just one two and then after that row of not decreasing then i make a decrease again make no two chains then once i go come back around you see i just come from here to here instead of like that so i made a, a few decreases a few decreases um yeah and once i was satisfied with how round at the, the 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 width of it let me see how wide it is i think it is about six inches because it is three here so that means three on the other side so it's about six inches and then i just stopped decreasing and just went on like usual so once you get to the length that you want then you make a row of double crochets and let's see how long my sleeve is It's about 20, 21.5 inches. Okay, my sleeve is about 21.5 inches. So just measure around yourself, yeah, and see how many inches you want it. Look, I kept, you know, trying, trying it on, not trying it on, but, you know, measuring. Like I would measure from here up to here and I see, oh, it's still, you know, not getting to where I want it to be because I really wanted it to get to, you know, long enough. And then I continue and continue until what I wanted. So once you're done with your sleeve, duplicate it on the other side. And then once you're done with everything, then you come and make a row of double crochets at the bottom of the dress here. Okay. Make a row of double crochets and that's it you see this is how i was joining you can see the single crochet row to join the two yeah so it's not hard it's easy and once you're done sew in your ends and you have yourself a beach dress you can make it a top if you want because i think it would really be pretty like where 
wear it on top of something yeah so i hope you like it i'm sorry that i didn't record everything in real time but uh, if you follow my instructions how i've explained it it's quite simple very really very simple just needs your measurements here and there and you can make it in your size in any size you can make it a long dress you can make it short sleeved you can make it whatever you want it to be you can put a slit on the side anything just you know imagine what you want and make it so thank you so much guys i hope you like it i know it's uh, cold over here i'm back in europe and it's cold but if you feel like you want to go on a vacation you can make this dress it will be nice or you can make it for next summer thank you so much please leave a comment uh, a like subscribe and i will see you in my next tutorial hopefully a cardigan bye guys